Hi, I'm Shoshana Budzinovsky from Microsoft Corporation. I work on the SQL Azure team, specifically focused on Windows Azure Marketplace data market. And I'm here today with Mark Bollinger from Exignite. And this is actually the first time that we've met. So I have a question for you, Mark. Shoot. Where'd you get the Microsoft shirt? Because that one's uh, actually pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, so these actually, I can take very little credit for these. Um, uh, there's a group, they actually run Hacker Dojo. Um, now at a Mountain View, putting the plug in for those guys. Oh, very good. Um, but uh, it's a bunch of people who put together hacker conventions, about a bunch of, I think it says hackers, thinkers, and robots. Um, and you, know, you just come, there's actually one this weekend, and you just show up with a laptop or whatever it is you're working on, soldering iron, whatever. And um, Microsoft has been kind enough to provide them with swag and stuff like that. So you just show up and got a shirt. And uh, they've been, they're That's awesome. amazing ar around here. Uh, at least, like, Microsoft has a huge. Uh, presence among totally yeah, it's, amazing it's yeah. yeah yeah I'm up in Redmond so I don't get to participate in those things so I'm actually thinking I need to spend more time down here sure, with you sure. more time sure. down here in the valley because that just sounds like so much fun so I guess what we're gonna do today is we're gonna just do a little bit of walkthrough on Azure data market from a developer perspective just get a feeling for how you get access to the bats last sale data set and then I think you've got an application that you wrote that you want to walk us through a little bit it's actually yours it's actually my, okay, truthfully it's my yeah. application, but you know, put up there as a sample so that every yeah. developer can use it. Yeah, but it, it is, you know, I was playing with it and um, it, it is really, really easy. Yeah, it totally is. Okay, well, so let's, let's go take a look at it. Okay, Mark, so let's go take a look at Windows Azure Marketplace Data Market. You're probably sure. pretty familiar with this, but for the sake of okay. our, our uh, audience here, let's uh, show them how they can get started. So the first thing is, open a browser, navigate to datamarket.azure.com, and you'll be brought to this home page. Now, once you're logged into the system, I already have my Windows Live ID and I'm already logged in, just go to the search box up here and type Xignite. And what that brings back are the full list of data sets that we're publishing right now from Xignite. Right now we have two data sets up there, but as we talked about before, we're gonna have many, many more data sets, right? So I like Xignite Bat's last sale. We're gonna spend a little bit of time on that one today. Uh, you know, I've already purchased a subscription to this data set. Now you can see over here, there's a number of different subscription levels uh, that you can take. And it's really dependent on your personal need. I think, you know, for the kinds of things that we're doing today, having a little limited subscription is probably good enough, right? Uh, when you come into this data set page, the first thing that you're gonna see is the name of the company, which is pretty important, Xignite. And it turns out, you know, I prefer to buy data from a company that I trust, and Xignite is one of those companies I trust a lot. Um, and a description of the data set. So the first thing that I usually do is I go and explore the data set, because what that does for me really quickly is it just gives me a feeling for what I can do with that data set. And so what we're going to do is just go and get last sale, and we'll put in a symbol. Let's just use Microsoft as the symbol. And we're going to go run the query right here and what I see I can get back from them is the symbol, the company name, the date, open close, previous high low last, change, percent, and volume. Now I've actually used this data set before and I know that there's more fields than I can get off of it. And so let's just go close this window and let's talk a little bit about the developer experience. Now mostly developers are going to use Visual Studio for creating queries against the data set, right? One thing that's pretty important for uh, developers to know is uh, most data sets come with proxy classes that we've created for you already that allow you to use Entity Framework directly in Visual Studio. So scroll down a little bit here on the right, you can actually get access to the proxy classes and then just go save this proxy class into the project file that you created in Visual Studio, right into that main directory, and you can start going with it. So I know uh, you've actually spent some time with Visual Studio uh, okay. and creating a little bit of an application here for the BATS last sale data. You want to tell us a little bit about that? Okay, so what we've done here is we've just thrown together a quick project in Visual Studio, as we were talking about, um, and it's really, really simple. We've just downloaded the Exonite BATS last sale container.cs from the Azure data market. Um, and that's acting as our proxy. It, um, it wraps everything, as you were saying, mm -hmm. to Entity Framework. Um, it it's makes things super, super easy. Um, and it's not magic code. It's just right there. Um, so what we've done is we imported that. There are a few things we have to do first. The few touch points are we add that. We've uh, 
made a URI around the data market, the Azure data market mm -hmm. URI. Um, we've created the container, and then we've passed it some network credentials mm -hmm. with uh, your username for, for your live account, mm -hmm. and then your uh, account key. Perfect. And that's pretty much it. There's a, right. we also create a quick wrapper around the, uh, the data itself. Um, and again, that just is, uh, we have one method we're worried about, the get bat slash sale data. Mm -hmm. And we just pass it a symbol and we get back an I list. So we can just enumerate over it and it gives us back our entities. Um, it it's so super, easy. Super well. Yeah, it's, this is 39 lines of code and most of them are brackets. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there's only three lines of code to actually get the URL. Exactly. And then there's really only like a couple of lines of code, the I enumerable and the query, the context, and the rest is just try catch stuff yeah, in case yeah. there's errors, right? Ultimately, Which, this is one yeah. line and two lines. Right, it's, right. It's, so it's, it's super, super easy. We always recommend that people put try catch in there. Things yes. happen. Yes. You know, especially Absolutely. when you're getting data through the internet, you never know what's going to happen, yeah. right? Okay, good. Absolutely. Like that. Um, yeah, so then we've just created our wrapper class, and we just asked a quick question, what do you want to get? It's just a simple command line mm -hmm. that says, what symbol do you want to get? Um, let's do a quick run here, and we're going to get Microsoft, and it just comes back. That's all. So um, let's, try, let's try Netflix. What do you sure, say? Sure, sure. Let's see how they're doing today. FLX. Okay, you know, it's interesting. So I see data here that I didn't see in the spreadsheet. I see this mm -hmm. delay figure. So it looks sure. like it's taking five milliseconds to yes. get uh, from the BATS exchange through the Exignite system. To Exignite. Right? That is, to there, Exignite. There is latency back right. to, exactly. to you. Exactly. There's latency back to us. Yeah. But I got to say, that's pretty darn real time. Yeah. That's pretty yeah. amazing. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Great. So okay. Pretty much, and it's, it's all. The magic thing is, I mean, this is all over OData, as I was mentioning earlier. Right. That, uh, we're mentioning offline. It, it, it's, it's great that it just integrates with this world of stuff that's available. Yeah. Like the Stack Overflow stuff is all over right. OData now. Um, we were talking earlier about LinkPad. It just integrates. You can just test it out if you're just prototyping or just trying to see what's there. And uh, it just works. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. So this is an example of an application that integrated the data market data feeds directly into mm -hmm. their application. Any application can yeah, do this. So absolutely. virtually any application can start servicing data up into their application directly. And we'll have more information about that. I should write a blog about that sure. too, because it's really super next, easy. Sure, okay, sure. that one will be the next one. How can we, I think that's like second on the list, but I'll commit to it. How's that? <laughs> Great. I'll read it. Okay, cool. very good. Right, thanks. thanks a lot.